Hello, it's Uncle Bob. I'm still playing with this Waypoint mission stuff. I have been, the way I've been flying it is I'm flying the drone to get the proper altitudes and the proper shots. And when I try to save it, it's not letting me save it. So I'm going to try something different this time. So first thing I'm going to do is change this to maps. Okay. So before I had my radar on so I could watch my artificial horizon. But for this flight, I'm going to fly up to the Miller Cross. Let's see how this works. So here we go. All righty. Yeah, the Miller Cross is, is right over there. So we're gonna I'm gonna kick up the I'm gonna kick up the altitude to here. And I'm gonna kick my first waypoint. Now we're gonna head out. Take another waypoint in. So there's the cross, so let me just get the right, get my light turned on there, okay. Process another waypoint, and then we bring it up close. Add another waypoint here. I'm gonna, I wanna do some zooming in on this one, so I'm gonna screw it, put this over and then just bring the zoom in. Oh, come on. Two point four times should be good. All right now. Now I'm going to fly up to the hog hog farm. Take a waypoint here, and I want to. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this. Two times zoom. Then I go back. Oh, in my last video, I couldn't figure out how to get out of that screen. All you do is press that back arrow. Sorry about that. So now. I'm going to fly a little ways over to the golf course. I'm not going to go too far. Wait, 
point like so. All right, so let me just, now I'm gonna head, head the drone back to where I'm at. And I always like to put the waypoints, the last waypoint, you know, closer to my home point. So that way I can judge the how long I'm going to be flying. And I'm also doing some getting lower, give it a dramatic effect of landing per se. One thing I like about my little turquoise colored car, man, you can see it from a distance, that's for sure. I do enjoy coming out here when there's not many, not many cars. Okay, there is my last waypoint. All right. So now... I'm going to go to the first waypoint. I still have plenty of, plenty of uh, juice left in the battery. So I'm going to start recording. Go to the last checkpoint. And I can stop recording here. Now I click here. I want to get my overall speed. So we're going to... We're going to kick this up a little bit, maybe 14 and a half miles an hour is good. Return to home, signal loss, return to home, waypoint one. Okay, so now we've got it. So now let's fly the mission. All right, it's going back to the original home point. I can have a sip of coffee. Cheers, everybody. Dropping in altitude. Now here we go. It should turn on the. It should turn on the camera. Here we go. Rock and roll. Still got 71% battery, so I'm plenty of satellite. It's always a good idea to keep an eye on the drone while it's flying. Because right now the drone is flying on its own. I'm not touching anything. But always keep an eye on it. It does, does fly really nicely. I'm just hoping I can save this one. Coming up on Miller's Cross. Still got tons of battery left.
That was an interesting turn. I like that. Looks close. Didn't look that. Didn't look that spooky when I was flying it. We just passed the fifth checkpoint, or uh, waypoint. Sorry, checkpoint. I'm too used to being in Mexico. All those checkpoints. Now we're coming up on. Uh, we're coming up on, uh, what do you call it, the hog farm. And there's a, the second little cross right there. You can see that pretty nicely. I really like how this the drone is turning. Here comes the Angeles National Golf Course Club, I should say, Golf Club. There's the 210 freeway off in the distance. So far, so good. I'm enjoying this. Coming to, to Waypoint 7. I like how gently the uh, the drone turns. It looks very nice. This should be a very good video. That's Sunland, the homes there, and off in the distance is Tonga. Now we're going to hit waypoint number eight. Now it's going to be heading back home. Alrighty, so we've hit waypoint nine. The camera has stopped filming. Landing.
All right, here's the big test. Let's see if I can save and exit. Ooh, let me do it. Let's see what it looks like here. Hmm. All right, so now how to open a waypoint. Now let's see if I can figure this out. Oh, there it is. Okay. I mean, let me go back over this again. This is a learning experience for us all. Okay, if I want to open up a, a saved mission, I just click on this white box here. So well, there's my mission. I'm just curious about if I can, if I can, if I can rename it. I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure out how to rename it, and I couldn't figure it out on the field. I'll show you once I get home. Now that I'm home, I'm going to try to see if I can figure out how to rename these waypoints. All right, so the first thing we do is we want to bring up no, it's not that one, sorry. Okay, so I want to rename this first one. Let's see how we can do this. So, I'm going to write. The point has been updated. Please check it on the map. You have to have the drone going for some odd reason. So now, let's see how I can do this. All right, so I'm going to call this. Millers. Cross. Now I'm going to click on this. So I'm going to see if that's all I need to do. Well, let me go back. I'm going to go back here and edit. All right, that's it. And that's what I forgot to do, to put that blue arrow. So this one, now I'm going to delete this, this one video. Sliding to the left brings up the trash can. Click on that. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yep. All right, so now I've got Miller's Cross where I can go back and fly to Miller's Cross over and over again as much as I want. So I'm very pleased. So this is Uncle Bob. Cheers, everybody.